Hey guys, uh, welcome to my review of My Muji Boyfriend. Uh, I've been looking at different shows on Netflix while learning Japanese and I thought I wanted to give you guys some reviews. The reviews will mainly fo uh, focus on like how good and enjoyable the shows are or how good I find them. Uh, I'll let you just quickly know the setting of the show uh, without giving any spoilers and then look at the things, some of the things that I like and or, and or dislike about the show and rate it at the end of the video. Uh, if you're learning Japanese or want to see more reviews like this, you should subscribe to the channel. So, to start off, uh, the show is like a romantic comedy about a couple. Uh, our main characters are Yuriko, and, uh, who's a nurse, a hospital nurse, and Sho, who stays at home, doesn't really do housework, and leans on Yuriko for money, or asks Yuriko for money. Um, they love each other, but Shaw just being at home and like situations that kind of come up give the story most of its tension and drives it forward. <sighs> yeah, and the people that work along Yuriko at the hospital and Yuriko's family make up most of the supporting characters. There are some here and there who come from other places uh, and come from the scenarios that the unexpected scenarios that pop up. Like, yeah, it might be a slight spoiler, but like, <laughs> there's this one guy in the show, he's from the hospital, uh, who just, he gets on my nerves so much, or doesn't get on my nerves, but he's like a really important piece to a lot of the plot lines, and he, for me, he kind of ruins a lot of the episodes he's in, and he kind of just feels like they wanted to cram a villain into the story, just to like, have one. The show is pretty short with only seven episodes and quite a bit of it can feel like it doesn't like flesh out the characters all that much. Um, some parts of it actually almost kind of feel like they're just filler episodes which is crazy when it's a seven episode show. Uh, but the show does have a story that you follow throughout which yeah there is for sure a story. Uh, the sh one of the good, really good parts I feel about the show, especially in retrospect, is that it, it gives you a good, or it, it at least presents it so that both of the characters are flawed. Like both Yuriko and Sho, they have clear flaws, there's like reasons why they're together. And um, yeah, which is, which is good to see. I also think that there are par parts of the show that you would enjoy a lot more in retrospect than when you're, actually, when, than when you're first watching it. Uh, like a good example of this is how I really really enjoyed like explaining to my friend How the show was and how the story was like it was mostly me trying to explain the parts that didn't make sense or something uh, like were stupid But it ended up being pretty fun But when I actually was watching the show it felt like I Like I, I, I actually got the feel that I need to stop watching a couple of times just because like it gets so, like, the humor just doesn't work for me. Which is a big point about the show, which it, where it falls pretty flat. Like, it's a romantic comedy, but the comedy is just so bad at times. The setups are so obvious, like, where it's going, you can kind of see a lot of the time. And when you can't see it, it's just, fuck, it's so, so dumb at times. Um, yeah, the awkwardness of the show's humor just makes, makes me feel really uncomfortable. Um, but that could also be a good thing if you first like like that kind of humor. I, I really didn't. Uh, so if I'm gonna like summarize the show, I'd say it has a cool idea for for a show, because it's explain it's kind of exploring a strange relationship where they have relatively untraditional gender roles. Uh, but that said, I didn't really enjoy what they did with that idea at all. The execution was. For me really poor or maybe just the direction they thought of from the start not just the execution it was just not 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 great um, and the characters and the humor both those things they just didn't work for me at all and I don't really feel like the show is even like trying to tell me anything either so I'll give the show a 4 out of 10 uh, I definitely think there's like worse stuff out there, but and if you had like a slightly different humor or 
drastically different humor for me. You might like the show. Uh, but I definitely don't recommend watching this, like, whether you're learning Japanese or not, like, it just, yeah, 4 out of 10, do not recommend.